Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a video but before getting into it please make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel please like the video as well and comment your thoughts down in the comment section below but be warned before I get started there is going to be some swearing in it so if you are underage and you don't like swearing please do not watch this video I recommend you don't watch this video if you don't like swearing or bad mouthing so yeah make sure you just tune out if you don't want to watch it but to get into it now and this is regards to Paul Kent you know Paul Kent as you guys know works on NRL 360 he's a host on one of the or he's a host on one of those shows and um Paul Kent you know his comments now this is regards to Roger Tua after Sheik leaving early and Paul Kent's comments were absolutely fucking disgraceful. It was absolutely fucking disgraceful. There is no respect for Roger Tuivasa Sheik from Paul Kent at all. And you know what? Roger Tuivasa Sheik, say what you got to say about him. He has a right to decide if he wants to leave the club early. Look, I know he's on a lot of money, Roger Tuivasa Sheik. I get it. But Roger Tuivasa Sheik, you know, he's been through a lot you know he's been through the years lot, lots of years of the Warriors he's been at the club for a long time and he's you know been away from his family for a very long time as well you know he's been in Australia for two years you know he sacrificed a lot and this year has been completely completely disappointing for the Warriors and at the moment the Warriors on a seven game losing streak I don't see why he should stay in Australia for the next couple of weeks. What is the point? You know, what is the point? I can understand why he wants to go back to New Zealand. He wants to go back early. You know, he wants to avoid any issues, you know, around the travel bubble and that because the travel bubble keeps closing and opening. And, you know, Roger Tuivasa-Sheik has a right to go back home to New Zealand, see his family, get ready for his upcoming journey, his next journey, which is to play in the rugby union. And... He's allowed to do what he wants. He is allowed to do what he wants, Paul Kent. So, Paul Kent, you're an absolute fucking idiot. You know, you can go fuck yourself. Honestly, it's an absolute disgrace, Paul Kent. You know, he's, you know this is the reason why I don't watch NRL 360. I don't even watch any of those shows. I don't watch them at all here in Australia. I don't watch them. One, Paul Kent and, you know, all those idiots like Buzz Rothfield and James fucking Hooper. You know, all those idiots on the show. Those journalists that think they know everything, you know. At the end of the day, Roger's an athlete, you know, he's got family and he's allowed to go back home and I don't think your comments are right. And also, also you brought up comments around the soldiers, you know, that, look, to me, you're, you're, you're bringing that up as an excuse to, to make people actually agree with you, you know, bringing up the soldiers comment, look, that's just, just a complete ridiculous argument at the end of that. It's a complete fucking ridiculous argument. And Paul Kent, you know, fucking idiot, you know, fucking idiot Paul Kent, you know, never been a fan of him on television. You know, I think he's just fucking a know-it-all, some sort of know-it-all asshole cunt who thinks he knows everything. And also, you know, likes of Buzz Rothfield and fucking James Hooper, you know, they're all fucking idiots, you know. Fucking journalists that think they know everything the journalists that think they know everything there's a lot of other journalists out there that actually do a great job but th these cunts you know paul kent and buzz rothfield they're all bloody just know-it-alls they think they know everything and they're all idiots but you know all i gotta say about paul kent is you've got no fucking idea about roger to us shit you've got no idea about what the warriors have been through and you're just an absolute disgrace so that's my uh, view on it you know paul kent you know Go fuck yourself is all I've got to say about it. You're a fucking idiot. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Like the video. Comment your thoughts. Do you think Paul Kent went too far with his comments on NRL 360 in regards to Roger to us? Sheik. Let me know your all thoughts in the comment section below. If you did watch it and you saw the video or you saw the whole show NRL 360, let me know what you think in regards to that. And... Yeah, like I said, make sure you like the video as well, and I'll see you all in the next one.